Have you ever wonder what creature is this? Yes, correct, it is the seagrass. You might encounter with this creature when you walk down on the seashore. The seagrass can be seen at safety sites in the southern and eastern of Peninsula Malaysia and in Sabah and Sarawak in East Malaysia. For example, Pulau Tinggi and Perigi Aceh in Johor, Sepanggabe and Pulau Gaya in Sabah, Lawas in Sarawak, Merchang Lagoon and Redang Island in Terengganu, and Pulau Tioman in Pahang. Malaysia have 16 species of seagrass and Malaysia also is the third in the world for the most diverse seagrasses. Seagrass lives on muddy shores and exposed at low tides. Healthy seagrasses may grow dense and form an extensive bed or meadows. The depth at which seagrass are found is limited by water clarity, which determines the amount of light reaching the plant. The seagrass differentiated into distinct segments as rhizome, roots and leaves. Seagrass leaves have chloroplasts to carry out the photosynthesis and veins to transport nutrients and water throughout the plant. The veins also contain a pocket called lacuna for buoyancy. That's why you can see seagrass stay afloat in the water. Seagrass can reproduce sexually or asexually. They are flowering plants that produce pollen. The pollen is carried through the water to fertilize female flowers. Seagrasses also can send out rhizome roots that can sprout new growths. So, a single plant is capable of producing an entire underwater meadow. Seagrass also are the only true plant that can live completely submerged underwater. Their characteristic and interactive community account for the high diversity and enable survival of diverse invertebrates like shrimps, sea cucumbers, starfishes and gastropods, and also vertebrates like dugongs, green turtles and fishes. Seagrasses provide condition for the marine life that many local coastal communities collect and catch for their livelihood. Seagrass ecosystems are sources of food and continually facing threats by natural events and human activities. Land reclamation on the seashore will suspend the heavy loss of particles over the seagrass meadows. It will make the seagrass hard to survive and cause death to the seagrass as it cannot reach the sunlight. Although the seagrass is not really well known sea creature for the most of the public, the seagrass play an important role for the ocean ecosystem. There are more things you can learn about seagrass. You can check the link in the description to explore more. Stay tuned and thank you.